Right guys, welcome back to another video and today it's the S class's turn for some work. So I've got to get this ready for its MOT and this time you're going to be seeing a face that hasn't been on the channel for quite a while. Ben's there with SDS trying to fix the cluster um, because that was pegging itself in the ambient air temperature gauge. So a few jobs today to do, uh, track rod ends drop links, uh, handbrake shoes if it needs them or we're just going to smile at that and leave it, um, and a steering rack boot that hopefully won't be too bad, uh, but that's all the stuff I know about before it's MOT, it still might fail yet. So anyway, let's get into this and see what's going on with everything so far. So Ben's on here looking for the a brake system because I've got a brake wear warning which isn't disappearing um, but there's no actual issue with the brake pads or wear sensors um, so we've got to try and figure that one out now you guys might notice that the production values aren't that high on this video and that's because once again this 200 pound paperweight is useless so I'm trying my best with what I've got right now um, but we'll we'll see how it goes <laughs> alright so we've got the steering boot to do on this you might not be able to see it but there's a load of grease pouring out there and the track rod ends and possibly if we can be bothered the drop links because that is a really weird awkward way of doing it so we'll see how time goes but uh, we're just gonna just gonna wing it right, so we've got the the locking up on the wherever it is slackened off so we've just got to get this ball joint not slackened off Sorry about the shaky video, but right now without a gimbal, that's the best I can do. To be fair to the car though, everything um, looks in good shape. Now this copper grease, that is something that I don't normally do. I don't like copper grease in wheel bolts because it can give a false torque. Um, but people are conflicted on that. Some people like to copper grease them, others don't. repping the little parkside tools here to be fair this thing is half the price of my Draper Storm Force and works twice as good I haven't found a nut or a bolt that that won't undo hmm I've found many that the Draper won't undo uh, let's get a big hammer and a bar yeah so we've got the nut up so what we've just got to do now is get the ball joint splitter tool between there so it's got a fork that goes under that uh, that piece of metal there and then it pushes down with the bolt onto the actual threaded part of the ball joint and pops it out that way so we've got a pile of new bits there that will fit on I'm just a bit concerned as to what hides beneath that boot but we'll have to see when we get it off. No, so the issue we've got here is actual space to fit a fork or the ball joint splitter tool in. This is the part where I'm going to need a new fan because Ben smashed it. Um, let's hit move a bit. Yeah, it's a bit of an only juster, isn't it? 
thick with a big bulge on it. Yeah, well. <laughs> I wonder why Draper couldn't have done that the other way around, so I haven't got to go under it when it pops up. Yeah, like because that. Draper. <laughs> Not great quality tools, to be honest. They used to be good back in the day, but not so much now. But the brakes on this car are so much bigger than what I'm used to on cars. It's nice to actually have proper brakes because even though this is a two ton car, it stops very quickly. And handles really good as well. You probably won't be able to get that under there now. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it in a minute. I'm just gonna do it with a hammer. Let's smack it. There we go. Oh, while well, I'm pleasantly distracted by this giant engine, just doesn't look that much. Shame it isn't uh, five, five liter or five point. Can't remember what they are. Five point four the compressors. A nice. Supercharger just sat right there, that would be nice. Might just put a turbo down there, you don't need screen wash. Do you want me to hold the wheel up? The... Hold that. There you go. Quick thing we're gonna do because we've got to take the nut off, we've got a bit ahead of ourselves, is spray it with Porsche green brake caliper paint because that'll mark where the thread started so we know where to put the nut. Right, so on an adventure of this is the old steering rack boot we took off, it's split and destroyed and full of oil. And we got this one uh, off eBay. Uh, typically, it's not even close on this end. Um, so, obviously, not for an S430, it's obviously for an E Class. But these parts companies like to say that, oh, it fits this, this, and this. Well, actually, an S Class is a lot bigger and heavier than an E Class, which so probably got a different steering rack. So, I've got these universal things and we shall see whether I can bodge one of them to fit. But I'm just going to go around another car parts place and try them as well and see whether they have out that will work. So, good fun. If I can't fix this, I can't drive the car. Not ideal. So, we have the That's new boot cool. fitted. It's just a universal random one but it's got us out of a pinch so Ben's just doing the track rod end now and then we'll move on to the other side because those drop links don't actually look too bad they're not great but you can't actually see how you do them without taking the strut off funnily enough that's a job I really don't fancy doing but the suspension on these cars is quite uh, quite interesting to me with how many links and that they've got it's uh, shall we say very Audi-esque <laughs> much like a Volkswagen Audi group car it's many well, links. actually it's a lot simpler because Audi in all their wisdom decided to put two separate links up here oh yeah yeah the two on yeah like yeah on the B instead of one single top arm it's like two single arms in it to 2004. Yeah. They're horrible. I've done a rack in one of them and I don't want to do one. Yeah. yeah. I've worked. See, guys, a bit of time on SDS has cured the clock set once again. Unfortunately, I can't cure this brake line in wear message that just will not go away. But we've got the clock set working again as it should be. Um, and I will figure that brake line in wear message out i just don't know why it's why it's coming up with that but we'll get there i've got 
till Saturday, where, so I've got exactly seven days to sort it. Um, but we'll have to see. Right, guys, so we didn't get as much done as we planned, um, but the weather was taking a turn for the worse, and that boot being wrong didn't exactly help, so I had to go and find a universal boot, obviously, as you saw. So I've still got the wheel bearings to tighten up. Um, I've got the handbrake to sort, parking brake rather, to sort out, um, and the brake wear warning message that doesn't seem to be related to any of the sensors. Uh, so it's going to be fun. I've got about seven days to get that sorted, as I think I said. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I think I can do it. I'm not too phased by it, uh, but we'll get there. So. Sorry again that the video quality isn't great, but the DJI camera, I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm going to have to have a good look at that and see if I can repair it or it just keeps shutting itself off. So I don't know what's wrong with that either. Uh, the stars aren't exactly aligning for me at the minute in case you haven't noticed with the lack of content. and I'm working all the time and trying to keep stuff on the road. I've just got the... Um, the Yamaha on the road to use as more of a commuter bike uh, than a bit of fun and I've got the CLK still here um, one benefit is I now have a garage roof so the garage is watertight so we can work in here and get some stuff started I may start on the bodywork maybe a body kit side of it as we've uh, having quite a bit of trouble finding those bungs for the oil um, filter the front cover on the m111 engine so we'll we'll see how that goes but anyway thanks for watching if you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up like subscribe share it all helps the channel's doing great at the minute and i really appreciate all the support of you guys and how far the channel's come and i want to continue helping everyone as best i can so i hope you've enjoyed it even though it's not the most exciting thing thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one